everyone, it's James from The Fit RV, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he doesn't make RV videos anymore, he only makes videos about his shop. Wrong! So today I'm making a video about this thing. Now this is a Max Air vent, and we've all got vents in our RVs, and you may not have a Max Air, but you've got something like this. And I want to talk about keeping it covered, because a lot of times in the summer, a lot of light gets in there, it's disturbing if you're trying to sleep late. Or in the winter, you know, can let a lot of heat out. We've been using something like this. It's got snaps. It snaps right in there to keep it covered. We got this from our friends at Advanced RV. It's even got a little insulation in it. And that works great. But when it's not in there, it means we've got something to store somewhere. So I got a product recently from the folks at Max Air. It's the Max Shade. There, can you see that? The Max Shade Plus. What this is is a permanently mounted shade that's going to go over the max fan fantastic there'll be nothing to store and this one the plus model even has a little led light that you can put in there which if i turned it on would cast a ghoulish glow over my bald head but that's what i've got now my shop if you've seen my other videos is not fully functional just yet but i've read the directions for this thing and i really believe i can install it with just two things a phillips head screwdriver and this raggedy ass pair of pliers. So if you can rustle these up, this is kind of a challenge for me. If you can rustle these up, I think we can get this installed. So I guess that's it. Let's, uh, let's get at it. I've never actually done an unboxing video before because I think they're kind of silly, but we're gonna do one here. So in the box with the Max Shade Plus, we have some electrical connections, some screws. That's it for that. We've got the instructions and wrapped up we have the actual max shade plus unit itself okay cool and i imagine that's going to go up it'll look you know like that ish when i get it installed which okay it takes away a little bit from the headroom but nothing that i'm going to find objectionable because you know i'm only 510 and steph as we all know is 52. all right Step one, remove and discard the four screws that hold the garnish ring to the ceiling. I normally think garnish is a little tastier than this, but here we go. Now mine have snaps on them because of that other, uh, the other cover that I showed you that we've been using, but here we go. One, and discard. I don't want to discard those. You might need them. All right, removing the garnish. If there's any kale up here, you can remove that too. All right, garnish ring removed. Okay, step one. Yeah. Step two, before continuing with the installation of the Max Shade, drill a quarter inch diameter hole in the corner of the garnish ring for the power lines. Ah, busted, I need a drill. All right, I'm gonna go drill a hole, I'll be back. Okay hole drilled got that hole um tip since you do want to save this you don't want to wreck it um you're gonna to want to be careful drilling the hole do not use a twist drill bit like this if you try to drill thin plastic with this and i know because i've ruined lots of plastic this way if you try to drill thin plastic like this with a twist drill it will grab it and then spin the plastic around in your hands and cut your hands and break the plastic I've done that. Uh, <laughs> instead, I just use, I actually had one of these um, available, not, not packed away. Uh, use a, I used a step drill and that worked just great. It just took, it, took the plastic right out. All right, so we're done with step two, yay. All right, except I did have to use an extra tool. Step three, with the garnish ring out, check. Locate the power supply wires to the max fan, gently pull on the power supply wires to create some slack. Yeah, I, these kind of fell out on their own and I got plenty of slack. Um, step four, route the power wires through the hole drilled in the garnish ring. Position the garnish ring with the power wires in the corner away from the max fan controls. Assemble the adapter over the garnish ring and secure to the ceiling with four screws provided. Ensuring the wires will not be caught in the mounting screws or pinched in the adapter installation. Huh. All right, so there's an adapter, I guess. Ah, I have an adapter. It's mounted to the bottom of this. I'm gonna have to get that out somehow. And, uh, and then I gotta put the ring up there and get, you know, this 
quite a lot of wire here to pull through. So that's next. Suggestion for the Max fan people is to ship these unattached because it's not completely clear how you remove them. But basically, it seems like it's on with some clips that you pull straight back to remove it from the other piece. Maybe in future ones they'll... E. It's not totally obvious as to how that comes apart. But there it is. So the adapter is off. We set this aside for now. Routing wires. Now these need to go from the outside, where all this stuff is, to the inside. And it says you're going to wind up putting this hole in the corner away from the controls. So it's going to be over here. So I'm going to poke the wires through this tiny hole, doubled up, one at a time, seems smarter. Okay, installation tip. Route the wires around to where this is going to go in the corner and then poke them through so that you're poking them through in the right spot. Because I didn't. So, tucking the wires in there, up in the ceiling. All right, I gotcha, I gotcha. There we go. All right, so maybe time for a close-up. I've got two little loops of wire here, and the trim ring is back in place, or the garnish ring, sorry. Okay, now that the garnish ring is back up, I can use these four screws that they've provided and put this ring up there, the adapter ring, in its place. So, what do we got? One. Ah, same holes. Yes. Yes. And they all line up. Oh, goody. Naturally. Yes, it happens to me, too. Four. Might not be a bad idea at this point to make sure everything still works. Yep, still doing good. Okay, so before I go any further on this, I wanted to show you something about this uh, Mac shade that's kind of cool. And that's, uh, this is the inside of the shade. And notice, it's reflectorized. So that means during the summer, this is going to do a fantastic job of keeping heat out of your rig. So that's actually pretty darn cool. Okay, uh, the electrical connections, the way they uh, have you make the electrical connections, it's actually with some of these little kind of connectors. Maybe you've seen them in your RV somewhere. Basically, it's a little tap connection. So the way it works is you put the one wire, in this case, the one that we've got looped up there, you put it through this end of the thing, and then you put the other wire you want to make a connection to there, and you close it, and it plunges this little blade down to make the connection. So here we go. We'll start with the, uh, with the positive wire, the black one here. And... To be fair, they said in the instructions it might be helpful to have another person hold this up while you actually do stuff, and I decided not to do that, just to kind of show that you can do it yourself. So maybe I'll set this here or in the microwave. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Over here? There we go. On the bed seems to work. And then here's where I need the janky pliers. So I'm going to use the pliers to close this all the way and drive that blade through. So here goes. Ta-da. Won't know if that worked until I do the second one. Whoa! I got a light! <laughs> I guess it works! <laughs> cool! Let me finish clamping that down. And there is the finished work. Little connectors running to the light. There's the light, it's on. There we go. Step six to assemble the Mac shade shroud to the adapter, position the Mac shade with the open side towards the controls. This is the open side, these are the controls. 
and line up the flanges and press firmly to lock it in place. Okay, so, but I do have to worry about these wires that are up here. I don't want them pinched in this. There's a, conveniently, a cutout on that side. So I'm gonna take the wires to the outside of this and the outside of the flange. Might not be a bad idea to get a piece of tape or something in on that. Well, let's see if I can just kind of hold them in place. Out, 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 out. And there we go. It's pressed into place. Step seven, restore power to the vehicle. Oops. Uh, in all seriousness, you should not do this with your vehicle live. You could give yourself a shock. You could cause a problem with the, with the max shade or anything else like that. So please do observe proper safety procedures and shut off the power to your vehicle while you're performing this. But now let's say you're done. Okay, so let's see how this works. First, the LED light. As predicted, it casts a ghoulish glow on my forehead. So not recommended for bald dudes um and let's try the uh let's try the cover there's some little uh posts over here that that uh locks into place and there you go now it is spring loaded so when you release it you're going to want to kind of just guide it back gently and not just let it thwap or it could could cause damage to the thing but there you go nothing required to, to keep the the shade covered up and we have an extra light which is very, very blue. It's definitely a cool white light. I don't know if you can tell the difference really on this video, but definitely a different color than the rest of the lights in here. All right, so there you have it. The Max Shade Plus with a uh, cool blue LED light. Um, I really was able to install it using only a Phillips head screwdriver, a janky pair of pliers, and a drill, I didn't need to get a drill with a step drill bit or a brad point bit, something like that. Um, and that's it, the install wasn't any more difficult than what you saw here. I think uh, probably most people could do that. Plus, it's a great way to keep that covered and the reflectorized top of it was just a brilliant touch that's, uh, that's really gonna help keep the heat down in the summer. And it's a total blackout thing. No light is getting in that, no light is getting in there right now. So that's the Max Shade Plus. Um, I'm giving it a thumbs up for now. We'll, uh, we'll see how it works over the winter and over the summer. Um, that's gonna do it for this video. This is James from the Fit RV. See you later, bye.